Hi everyone. So now we will talk about button and own press event in React Native. Initially, I was thinking that uh, firstly I need to make a video on state, but uh, then I think like if we need to understand the state in depth, like uh, how state work and how it's it's update the content and all, then we must need a event for that, right? So that's why I'm just making a video on a button and own press event on that, and next video will be on state. So. First of all, I will tell you that how we can make a button. Even I already told you uh, how we can make button in previous videos. But uh, again, this is a dedicated video on button, so I just need to tell about that. After that, I will tell you that how we can change the color of button, how we can call function on a button press. Uh, in mobiles, we don't have click event. Click event we have in uh, mm, you can say that in computer systems, in laptops where we have uh, a mouse pointer, right? Where we are just using a touch screen, there we can only press the things, not click. So that's why we have a uh, on press event, not on click. All right. After that, we will learn that how we can pass data, uh, some data with the events, and at last we will discuss some important interview questions also. All right. So this is our emulator, and this is our code screen. So let me just make it small bit, and uh, we are working in app.js. So I am just closing this sidebar so that we have more space to code. Okay. So first of all, how we can make a button, right? So we need to import it from React Native, or you can directly start typing button. And if you are using any advanced editor like uh, VS Code or something, that time it will be automatically imported. So let's just click over there, and you can see that button is already imported there. Okay. And uh, you can just uh, close button like this, or you can just uh, close it with the self closing tag like this all right and we need uh, at least one property in this button which is title so if you will not pass any title then you will get the error so let me pass the title like uh, on press all right and buttons have a uh, lots of properties uh, let's say you want to just change the color of button then you can simply put their color and inside any string or either you can use variables put any color let's say red it will be just change the color red or you can just simply use the color code also so let's say i'm using triple zero that means black all right so uh, let's just make it uh, green by default that will be i think better all right so the next thing is uh, let's say we have a function and uh, let me just create a function with the name of uh, let's say const fruit this is our uh, function name and uh, let's say this is a arrow function right and uh, we are just making any consoling there console.1 or console.log whatever and you can just put any anything here let's say function called and now you can use their uh, their event which is own press this is basically a probe but uh, as we know that we all uh, we also call it a event because own press own change will work in the react native also but own click will not gonna work okay so there i am just put, uh, passing this uh, fruit function name and after that if i am just clicking on that button own press you will find the uh, warning there right because we are just uh, putting the warning here so let me just put there function code this is working fine even you can use the log also if you want but keep in mind for that you need to open the debugger also in chrome otherwise you can simply use their console dot one all right okay so uh, this is the simplest way to just uh, if you want to use uh, a function that's perfectly fine so um, one more thing so now let's say you want to pass some data from uh, a button to function that how you can do that so for that let me create a one more uh, button there and the color of this button could be let's say red or you can put any color to that okay and now uh, this fun function will accept any uh, parameter let's say value is the parameter and we are printing that value after that uh, how we can call or how we can pass this value like we don't have a brackets there and if I'm directly trying to pass brackets there, let's say I just put the brackets like this, then you will find this is uh, this function is automatically called without any event. 
and if i'm just uh, clicking on the event let's say like this then this will uh, okay because uh, this is the first one so in second one if i'm just clicking on the red button you can see that there is a no function called there, there is a no console dot mode that means this is not calling because we are just putting their function brackets and it will automatically call when, whenever our uh, this return statement is basically rendering even if you just refresh it you you can see that so just wait for a moment here you can see that undefined because there is a nothing in value okay then how we can use it for that you can again use a arrow function like this and now it will work so now you will find that uh, it will not call in by default and if i'm just click, pressing on uh clicking on the red button but i need to pass some values here right so let me just pass here hello and here we go we got the hello and let's say you are passing there hello anil Situ. then again it will work perfectly fine here we go all right okay so that is okay like how this is uh, button and on press is working we just learned that but uh, uh, let me just show you something interesting and that point will tell you that why we need state and and next next part we will find the solution of that problem all right so let's say we have uh, any variable constant or let whatever you want to make and its uh, value of this is let's say 10 right and i am just uh, uh, printing this uh, data there then what will be the output in our case obviously 10 there is a no issue right and if i'm just putting here let's say 100 then again you will find the uh, output is 100 there on screen right perfectly fine so what i'm going to do there i am just uh, changing the value of this data let data variable to 20 there right and for confirmation like this is updating or not i am just using their console dot one data now the interesting thing is whenever we will calling this uh, fruit function data will be updated you can see that in console dot one the value have 20 but still the value in this data will be still 100 let me just show you so if i'm just clicking on the first button you can see that value is 20 but still uh, the value of data is 100 there like where we printed that right it should update but this is not updating second thing uh, let me just uh, just click on the red button also so maybe you are just confusing that if you will click on the red button then it will work so let me just again click on that again you will find th there is a 20 in uh, data in console dot won't but nothing there in 100 uh, this is not changing what is the reason of it if you are aware with the uh, like dom manipulation in react or uh, how react js yes, and uh, everything is work then you can answer it and if you are not aware then don't worry in next video i will tell you the solution of it and the solution of this is state in react js yes, right that's why i just want to make a video first on uh, button and on press event and then i want to go with the state and update state and all right so thank you so much for watching this video and i am requesting you to please support me by like this video subscribe and comment uh, in the video thank you guys thank you so much